Okay, so this video I'm gonna do a prediction video for Smite uh, season nine of all the guards that is was shown in the teaser trailer. Uh, obviously, the newest guard uh, that is for season nine is uh, Shiva, and then we, after that we see a teaser trailer for the rest of the guard for season nine and heroes. So the first one we see, what well, I think, is Gaia. Is the woman up in the sky after Gaia we see a hint for the Jade Emperor the other one is the round table and I think we're gonna see Tristan we can be any of the Knights of the round table uh, so after that we come uh, to a ocean uh, with arrows sorry after uh, Jade Emperor that part we see arrows my prediction that this uh, arrow belong to Arjun uh, one of the Hindu heroes of Mahabharata after Arjun who I, I think this is Arjun that the arrows uh, the arrow come from is from Arjun after Arjun we see a island uh, with water and we, uh, we then we see a bird flying up to the sky and then we come to a table these two characters I don't know Maybe some Polynesian uh, uh, guard of war or the guard of uh, fire can be. I don't know. After that, we come to a, a table with different food, uh, uh, fruit, uh, vegetables, and we in the in the middle of the table we see a a deer skull. So my prediction here is that this means. We're gonna get our first North American, native North American uh, mythical creature, and that is the indigo. And indigo is like a, 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 a mythical character. It's like a, almost like a werewolf in some sense, uh, you can say. But it, obviously, you have differences. But uh, yeah, the, um, the indigo. So the, so uh, so my so uh, what I think. Uh, my prediction here, obviously, I just this is a prediction. I don't know, is uh, Jade Emperor, Tristan, um, or June, the Indigo, and Gaia. This is the one I my for my prediction. The other uh, and obviously Tristan. The other two uh, do I, I don't know. The other two one I don't know. Uh, one it can be one more uh, Greek uh, guard or a uh, Greek guard or a Greek mythical uh, legend, and that the reason why I say this one I think can be, and is because the hint is maybe because we after the bird fly into the sun we we see a roasted um, uh, chicken like a chicken. Or a calcoon. Um, on the same table, we see later on the the, the deer skull, the skull of a deer. The reason why I say it can be a Greek, not obviously the table, the style is totally much late, totally much later a time period of the table. How the architecture, how this table is made, is absolutely not Greek style, but because the chicken look uh, look like color of gold so what if okay remember this is just a, a prediction here is that maybe this uh, chicken that look like gold are a reference to Midas the uh, Midas and obviously in mytho Greek mythology uh, that he which he is a very greedy person so he wished that everything he touched turned to gold, and obviously, he obviously he get he 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 get punished for his greed and because when he tried to touch his daughter, I mean, ah, uh, he yeah he touched his daughter, and then or his wife and then the, them turned to gold and obviously he's uh, because everything he touched uh, with his hand turned to gold. So it's good as long as you don't touch anybody uh, in your family or anyone 
any human that you need, uh, something like that. So this is a other prediction is that the golden cocoon or chicken we see on the table of the teaser trailer is a, a reference to King Midas because we don't have King Midas yet in Smite in the game so maybe is prediction um, and they have nothing with this to do because I think all of the different part of the teaser trailer means different things so when we first see uh, who I think is Gaia the woman in the sky then we see uh, the palace with Jade Emperor and then we see the round table and then we see a, a golden horse running on the battlefield and we see lots of arrows falling down from the sky onto the ground uh, some some people have predicted that this uh, arrow belonged to um, uh, uh, sorry belonged to the goddess of war in Meso Meso uh, Babylonian mythology Ishtar um, or Robin Hood. So the, all the interesting thing ha means ha means different things. They don't uh, the golden chicken, uh, the arrow, the horse. Uh, the round table obviously is one uh, predict is obviously uh, showcase one of the knight of the round table that gonna belong to King uh, Arthur. To his uh, that part with King Arthur and Merlin, they are they are already in the game, and so we have, uh, yeah, the, the Indigo, Jade Emperor, Gaia, maybe uh, Tristan, Arjun, uh, or, or uh, and maybe. Maybe with um, um, King Midas. Yeah, th this is my uh, my prediction for uh, the heroes and, and the mythical creatures and gods for season nine of Smite, who I think will come to Smite. The the most complicated fit for me uh, is obviously the island, um, but that have maybe some to say before some Polynesian uh, guard maybe some uh, Polynesian or uh, Hawaii or Maori uh, something on this kind of guards uh, then one of most obviously I don't certain know anyone but if I have to say who I think most likely beside obviously because obviously beside Shiva is oh, and obviously Jade Emperor but this who else can it be in the Jade Emperor on the Jade Throne? In, in, on the, like everything say this is the Jade Emperor. Okay, you have the palace, shiny palaces up in the sky. You have a throne of Jade, Jade Emperor. So it cannot be anyone else. Like this is absolutely the Jade Emperor. And so that is like nine, nine, ninety-eight percent certainty uh, and or I can say hundred percent certainty that this is Jade Emperor the other one with the round table obviously this for King Arthur and obviously it can be end of the night uh, Tristan uh, Lancelot uh, or some of the other ones uh, the horse running on the battlefield um, maybe one more Chinese uh, mythical hero um, uh, is one who have maybe I have my idea now who I can think this because this horse looks very like this a heavenly horse a specific horse because one of the heroes of uh, Romance of the Free Kingdom and not uh, one of the characters sorry one of the characters of the Romance of Three Kingdom uh, have a have a, a specific horse that he ride on on uh, when he on battlefield and he's not of he's not of the free blood brothers but he's he's the guy that uh, the, the main character fight against and he 
are like a, they're like a classical anti-hero if I can use this term for a, a hero in like in this kind of books of free kingdom uh, romance of the free kingdom uh, what is his name again and obviously if you have read the reckoning of Ragnarok uh, the manga the, he's the first human uh, fight he's the guy the f uh, first fighter for the f for the human side that fight against Thor in Reckoning of Ragnarok in, in uh, the first battle uh, oh sorry I have to wait think, yes, I think it's for a second uh, his name is not not Guan Yu. Um, sorry, I totally forget his name. But he's he's one of the he's one of the anti heroes in uh, Romance of the Three Kingdom. He used he used uh, some kind of a Hildebard weapon, like a spear with two axes on the side. Uh, can be him. That's a reference to the horse that riding in on the battlefield uh, is a possibility that this is the, this guy. Um, or is many different predictions you can say, but or because I don't think because of the arrow and the horse have do not belong in the trailer. They have diff, they mean different things because obviously if there's a horse and you see lots of arrows. Uh, and this part uh, is the same part. That means there can be uh, like Genghis Khan, Timur Lenk, Attila the Hun, or any of the f uh, famous nomadic uh, warlords. Obviously, we got arrows and horse. But because the arrows, this part with the arrow, don't have anything to do with the part with the horse, the same with the horse. Have that uh, have nothing to do with the round table so I say to make it easier and more like this I say for me my prediction here is the guy on the horse is one of the characters in Romance of the Three Kingdom uh, he's not one of the three blood brothers uh, oh, uh, oh so, I'm so sorry I told with his name um, Um, wait, I, I, sorry, I just have to find him. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. The name I think about is Lu Bu. So the guy, the reference with the horse uh, in this uh, Smite season nine teaser trailer is, I think, a reference to uh, Lu Bu. So Lu Bu, uh, Gaia, Jade Emperor. Arjun, uh, the indigo on the table, the golden chicken reference for uh, King Midas, the, uh, the island I don't know, uh, Tristan from the round table. Uh, yeah, so this is my uh, prediction for who I think of, of the heroes and mythical creatures and gods that will come out for season nine uh, and this is just as I said again just my prediction obviously I can be totally wrong here with all of them besides the Jade Emperor obviously that is the most absolute that this is the Jade Emperor um, yeah and that is everything I really want to say for this video for this prediction um, of Smite and obviously um yeah it looks nice it looks very nice with all the updates and with the showcase uh, yesterday 
with all of the like new uh, uh, game modes. Uh, obviously, they I think Smite is a very Smite is a very very uh, good game. Have lots of interesting uh, mythical heroes and guards in the game from different uh, pantheons. I think that is very uh, very cool and very diverse. I think that is nice for a game. It's not so many games that have this kind of very open uh, diversity in a game. I think it's m uh, very diverse, very interesting because they really try to bring in so many different pantheon in the games, yes. like African, Egyptian, um, Greek, Celtic, Chinese, Japanese. Uh, the newest one, obviously, um, Mes um, Sumerian, uh, Gilgamesh, and Timat. So that is nice. They have lots of in diversity. I think that is really cool. And the only pantheon they don't have anyone yet in is obviously the n n natives of North America. They don't. Uh, they only have from Mesoamerica, like uh, the the Aztecs, the Maya. But I, they don't have anything from the Inca yet either, or South America. They have from Central America, but not South America, uh, or North America um, in, the, in the game yet. So there is a reason for why I think the Indigo maybe, will, maybe is the first uh, mythical uh, creature from this story. So yeah, so this is the one, yeah, for my prediction. And uh, leave me in the comments down below who you think, uh, who do you think of the heroes and guards you think will we see in season nine from the teaser trailer? Yeah, 